Hi friends, this video shows how to make submersible starter connection. First, let me explain the circuit diagram of submersible starter. Here you can see one circle. So this is a motor. So inside the motor you can see one run winding and one start winding. From one from run winding, there is one cable which is going outside from the motor. That is a red cable. From start winding, there is one cable which is going outside. That is a yellow cable. There is one more cable which is going outside from the motor. That is a blue cable. We can see that blue cable is directly connected to run and start windings of the motor. So we can call it as a common cable. You can see this blue cable is directly connected to the neutral of the main power supply. So this connection to the blue cable is very simple. We can directly con connect it to the neutral of the main power supply. And you can see red and yellow cables which are coming from the motor. There's a capacitor which directly connected to red and yellow cables. This capacitor connection is very simple. Capacitor we can directly connect to red and yellow cables which are coming from the motor. The next is the phase from the main power supply. That we can directly connect to the uh, red cable which is coming from the motor. If you need a switch, you can use a switch here. Okay, so as I said, there is three cables which are coming from the motor that is red, yellow and blue. Blue is very simple. We can directly connect neutral from the main power supply to blue cable. Then phase from the main power supply, we can directly connect to red cable. And capacitor, we can connect to red and yellow cable okay you can see this yellow cable is only connected to the one end of the capacitor okay so these are the red yellow and blue cables which are coming from the motor so in this diagram i already explained uh, red yellow and blue cables so these are the cables so first I am going to uh, I am going to connect uh, this capacitor to red and yellow cables red and yellow so here we can connect capacitor so I am going to connect capacitor there so this is a capacitor you can see two ends of this capacitor so I am going to connect one end of the capacitor to this red cable then another end of this capacitor to this yellow cable okay we can see capacitor connection completed so this capacitor connection completed Next, I am going to connect this neutral from the main power supply to the blue cable. You can see there is nothing connected to this blue cable. So here we can connect neutral from the main power supply. So these are the phase and neutral cables of the main power supply. So this neutral I can connect to this blue cable. okay so this connection is completed so next this connection so this is the last connection we need to connect phase from the main power supply to the red cable which, uh, which is coming from the motor you can see in red cable we already connected capacitor this capacitor is already connected to this red cable this one so we need to connect phase from the main sub power supply also in that red cable so let me take that phase from the main power supply and connect that here so you can see total three cables here one is the capacitor 
one end of the capacitor then phase from the main power supply then this is the red cable which is going to the motor okay three cables here then you can see yellow is connected to one end of the capacitor that is very simple then blue is directly connected to neutral of the main power supply done so if you need a switch you can connect switch here in the uh, phase line which is coming from the main power supply so let me connect a switch there so let me remove this phase cable okay then here i am going to connect one switch i am going to use this switch you can use a better switch connect phase line in the switch then other end of this switch we can connect to the red cable which is going to the motor okay now the starter connection completed so i hope you enjoy this video please subscribe my channel please like and share the video